Hello everyone, Larry Satchwell here again, and I'm excited again. The other day, that Haddock package came, and you saw what was in there. Well, another one came just a few minutes ago. Now, it's late afternoon. That sun is getting low in the sky, so it's going to probably pop here in a minute. But I can't wait to open this. If this is anything like the quality of that bird bath and other hummingbird feeder, I can't wait to see it. I tell you what, they use some good packing. Some protective cardboard. Let me stand up here. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> there it is again. Hedick, love you forever. Oh, my goodness. I got to come and get the camera again. Look at that packaging. Just incredible. All right, let me back up and we'll get this thing put together. is like Christmas. Christmas in September. Okay, I wonder what the strategy is here. I think they want me to fill the globes. All hand-blown glass. extras with a brush in here to clean it with. Uh, it's going to be easy to get warm water down in there. Helicopter going by. I can't get over this packaging. They have spared no expense. If you give this as a gift, you are going <laughs> to make an impression, I can assure you. I may wrap this thing back up and give it to my wife. <laughs> All right. I always always have nectar in the refrigerator. I've been this has been sitting out for a while, so it's at room temperature. I'm going to use a funnel here because I want to try not to get any of the hummingbird nectar on the globe. There's not an ant trap with this, so I may have to get one of those. I'm going to fill it right up to the top of the bottom of the hole there. And this is just the standard mix I always make. One part sugar, four parts water. Some dripping on the table here, but that's not a problem. You know what would be good to fill these with is a turkey paster. I'm not sure we have one anymore. We normally deep fry our turkeys now. Put the uh, flowers back on. It looks like they give you a complete set of extra flowers. Now, hummingbirds love to take a drink right before dawn, dusk, right as they're going to bed, I think. Kind of like an evening snack. So I should be able to get some hummingbirds. And this isn't like the West Coast or west of the Mississippi. We have hummingbirds one at a time, or they fight over it. I don't anticipate this being filled with hummingbirds like you would see in California. But as in watching the hummingbirds, they love 
to graze like my goats. The goats will take a bite of a tree and then move on several feet to another tree. And that's exactly the same way the hummingbirds do it. They take a sip out of this flower and move to the next one and move to the next one and move to the next one. All right, let's start here at the bottom. These S hooks just go right in there and they fall right out. Maybe I'll have to start at the top. There we go. All right, can I do it? Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm going to go hang this up. I've got a spot right here for it. There's been other hummingbird feeders here, so they'll know where it's at. I think I want to reverse this one because the feeder is right in the wire. So I can turn that around so it's outside. And now they're all outside. Well, that is just beautiful. I'm going to uh, I'm going to raise it up tonight. Well, actually, I'm going to take it in tonight because I don't want our rascal raccoon to mess with it and break one of these globes. So I'll be bringing this in every night. And let's see if we can get a hummingbird to come and see what's going on. Well, that didn't take long. Actually, I hung this up, went into the kitchen and got a glass of tea, came back out and saw the hummingbird here. But as soon as she saw me, she flew. But then I sat down to drink my tea. And she came right back. I'll leave a link below. I think this is going to make some people very happy at Christmas. I decided this would be the best place for the hummingbird feeder. I don't have to take it in at night. The raccoons cannot climb down that little wire. Squirrels maybe, but I haven't had anything bother the other hummingbird feeders that have been here. And I think this is just a perfect place for this to kind of top off the pond area. Thanks once again for such a precious gift. 
uh, I look forward to watching hummingbirds use this for many years to come. Link below. Thanks for watching. Thanks once again for such a precious gift. Uh, I look forward to watching hummingbirds use this for many years to come. Link below. Thanks for watching.